what's going on everybody welcome back to a brand new video how are you doing thank you for tuning in and i really appreciate you being here and checking out this video so if you can see by the title you know we're getting into and it's pretty much my top 10 sneaker rotation that is just that go-to rotation that i wear for more than almost every occasion and not one of those shoes that's like break off for certain things certain things here and there these get worn regardless rain sleet snow and still look great and those shoes that look great you know with more wear out of 10 there's probably one that's almost getting to that beater stage where i'm gonna have to replace it with something else but i've had that one for a while probably since 2020 so without further ado let's get into it now i know i'm not the only one that has a ton of shoes but still ends up going to the same things over and over again and that's what just creates that rotation of the go-to shoes just for quick throw on or just for wear whatever but can kind of still be styled and hopefully you know i can give these guys a break soon and start busting out some of the shoes that haven't been worn yet so let's get into the first shoe on this top 10 list of sneaker rotations that get worn a lot so right here we have a simple clean air max 98 in this nice black colorway with that white mid so you cannot go wrong with this honestly this is just this is that one that i'm saying it's getting to a point where it's almost at its point of just being a beater and might having to just be replaced with something else that's just that black shoe i wear these a ton they do need a nice deep clean i feel like with a deep clean it'll bring them back to life and give them some more you know time there isn't a lot of heel drag on this one which gives it us some time the bubbles are still well intact no no poppage uh no poppage and it's not really flimsy it's still got some life to it unlike a pair of vapor max plus that i had back like after a few wears i felt like my shoe was just and rolling my ankles from those but these i got these kind of like in the beginning of 2020 when covid when covid was going on i was about to say covid covid 2020 in the beginning of like COVID, like middle of COVID, when obviously everything was closed, everybody was just shopping online. And if you remember, Nike was dropping deals after deals after deals. From what I remember, things were just like 20% off, 40% off here and just consistently, even on J's. I'm so sure I do, you know, back in 2020 when Drake dropped the Tuesday slide video and had everybody left foot up, up, right, right foot, foot slide. slide. You know what I'm saying? Basically. These look similar to what he had on in the video and sold me immediately and i think i got i know i got this for a steal i think i got these for around like 80 bucks probably because of the, the sale but i definitely got my money's worth with these you know what we're getting into three years later and i still have them and i still wear them and they're still in decent condition so this is this is definitely in that top 10 list and these are in no specific order by the way let's clear that up next on the list we have i think this is an easy go-to this was an easy cop you know back these released back in April of 2022, if I remember correctly. And there is a high top iteration. High top is just a little bit different because the outsole and it has more of a real sock liner on that, you know, on the outer part, but these are dope. Of course, we have that deconstructed vibe where the exposed tongue, you know, the mesh, the foam in the tongue. And then we have that jumbo swoosh. And then just the all around look with that vault green kind of like lace loop, which it just resembles that off-white vibe, of course. But for a deal like this, for a, uh, I caught these on sale as well. For a deal like this, you can't go wrong in having this as a, as a wear-around everyday type of shoe. White, black, even with that vault green hit, you still can style it with pretty much anything. And it goes along with the shoe. Like I said, I got these for a deal as well. They do got some nice wear blazers, you know, it just, it just you can just do so much with it. You can dress it up, dress it down. I do have these uh, in the colorway with the red swoosh. Real simple, I haven't worn those yet. These, these have gotten some more wear, but I really like these and these are really dope. And then just kind of got those, the thick shoelaces. And you have that stitching right there on the, come on, focus, can you focus? Okay, there's a two way. The stitching right there on the tongue, the way, it, like I said, that off white vibe. But catching these for another steal, I believe these are also were 80 bucks because they retail about a hundred. They're 20% off. So grabbing these was definitely, definitely dope. And I do wear these just as much. Maybe not as much as those. Nothing will be worn as much as those Air Maxes that I just shown, but these definitely get some love. Next, just sticking to that blazer vibe. Like I was saying, the high top of the regular 77, like vintage, you know, Nike blazer. Again, with that exposed sponge in the tongue, it just 
so clean and it, it's like I said you can do whatever dress it up dress it down people work out in them you can and despite how clean these still may look on the video don't get me wrong these do get their wear these do get their you know shine I wouldn't wear these in the rain or anything like that obviously because that suede toe and the, the couple little bit of suede on the side but they still they still get their wear most of the time in whatever type of situation so this is this is definitely that go-to only thing I would recommend on these is wearing higher, no ankle socks, no no mid, you know, ankle socks, no no-shows because just that leather inner lining is gonna eat up the back of your heels and you're gonna regret it. I have, so that's just my advice with these. But if you don't got a pair of blazers, this is definitely an essential in the collection, an essential for starting sneakerheads, OG sneakerheads, whatever. Definitely grab a pair. Hello, we, we got her back again. She's back again. Come here, come here. Paying me to visit one more time. She's been okay today. Ooh, you've been okay today? Say hi to the camera again. Can you say hi to the camera? Like, she's beautiful, isn't she? Like, just look at her color. So beautiful. Okay, you wanna go on the bed? We'll put you on the bed, come on. Come on. So for the most part, everything on this list is low tops, except for the blazers, which is crazy because me, I actually do like high tops a lot. But recently, just for the wear around, just for the quick throw-ons, it's all been low tops except for the blazers. So next, we're gonna get into these ducks. So right here, you've seen these in the videos before. This is number four, number five. Like I said, there's no specific order on this list, but these, whew, these definitely get their wear. I don't know if you could tell, it got some good, decent creasing on there. And yes, dirty all around the midsole. <laughs> dirty all around the midsole, nothing crazy though, nothing that, needs to be crazy, like deep and clean, but because it's like, for me, it's like, maybe not the blazers so much, because I mean, they, they are leather, but they do have suede on them, but all leather shoes, for me, just get that wear whenever, wherever, because they can't really get that damage, like suede and, and a new buck and, and stuff like that. So to have these, these definitely just that swear, and come on, the championship gray, the navy and gray can pretty much go with a lot, and the maroon color, it can still go with simple colors, but you can still pop with these, even though it's a every all time wear around. You can just, you can do a lot. You can do a lot with these two. So right here we got the championship dunk and then the maroon low dunks. You can't go wrong. Some more 2020 pairs. Now we're getting into the Jays, and I know I'm not the only person that was just shopping in 2020 online and just getting shoes to come in the mail for no reason. I did a lot of outfit pictures in 2020 driving around. It was so nice. The streets were quiet. Areas were quiet. You could take pictures in places that were normally filled with people that would ruin the background of a photo, but it was just the vibe. And these definitely got their pictures. So right here, we got two Jordan 1 lows. Right here, we have these that released about, if I remember correctly, in the early, early 2020, like around July, and these a little bit later. So both of these having that dope colorway of these resembling the reverse breads that released that are super hyped. And then these resembling the new beginnings from that Air Jordan 1 pack with the airships that are also just as hype, but these didn't go for much. 90 bucks retail, if I'm correct, and they shouldn't be going for too much right now, hopefully on resale. But these, huh, these definitely get it, because even with that white midsole, get their wear. And these still, like I said, all leather, even though it is white, get their wear. And you can't go wrong, I love red. I wear a lot of red, a lot of my clothes are red, so it just makes it a whole lot easier to throw these on with whatever. And red still goes with those, you know, just throw this gray hoodie on right now with this hat, and either one of these is just gonna bang with it pretty much. Most likely these though. But these, you just can't go wrong to have in the collection. Jordan 1 Lowe's, like I wore these, and I don't really club like that anymore, but not too long ago, went out for my fiance's birthday. We went out to, to a club down in Boston and these got spilled on a little bit. Quick cleanup and they're good as new. So there you go, there you have it. Jordan 1 Lowe's, you cannot go wrong. Jordan 1 Lowe's with that OG cut and still in the red and black, white family these right here i missed out on its original release but then there was a restock and just to be lucky enough to grab these these are easy did a little bit of a lace swap these did come with black laces i feel like i could try the clean laces too but these definitely are clean off-white deconstructed vibe inside out basically Whew. and it's not leather it's like a foam that foam all over the only leather is here on the back heel tab but 
you can still rock these with anything and throw these on a lot. Again, no rain, no snow, just to make sure that, you know, you keep them, you keep them clean. Wear your shoes, but keep them clean. And like I said, you can see the only one that looks the most worn is the Air Maxes because I've had them for so long and I do wear those a lot. But even though I wear all of these a lot, they still look clean. You can wear them, keep them clean just so that they can last long and, you know, protect them better. Now these right here, I actually didn't expect to wear them as much as I do, but when you see, you'll understand. White, red, black. Uh, yes, that back tab. These are these are the Jordan Three, you know, denim special edition. Fire red, fire red. Even though, you know, we, we got the fire threes and it's a little bit of a bit different red maybe, but this, these are absolutely sick. I'm just with that elephant print, but it's denim. That back heel tab, it's translucent, but yes, with time, it does yellow. That's fine, it is what it is. It gives it some character, it shows its age. This, this was a dope cop. I believe I grabbed these from Shop U7, if I'm correct, in New Bedford, like I've mentioned in the video before, I grabbed these from there and never turned back. I've worn these a ton of times, and even though it's white, it's that leather, and it still looks super clean, except for that, obviously, yellowing on the back heel tab, but that's gonna happen regardless with time. Dirty also, but that's how it gets. This is definitely, this gets his way. This gets his way, it's on that top 10. Now my absolute favorite. Yes, there was no specific order in these, but this is my absolute favorite shoe to wear and just wear for anything and everything. We got the Black Cement 3s. You can go wrong with an OG. This, woo, this is that 20. This is that banger. This is life. Nike Air on the back. So I think it might be time to grab a new pair. Is that cracking? Is that cracking on the inner, you know, the inner midsole? I didn't even notice that. But hey, just gives it that character. Nothing wrong with that black on the outer midsole. No cracking there. Nothing wrong with the shoe in general. Super worn, super worn. But that can get clean, I'm pretty sure. All that can get clean. But this is definitely my go-to for anything black cement threes i know resale is a little bit crazy but you probably could get a decently worn pair for a good price you definitely because like if this is cleaned up and somebody sold this to me i'm grabbing it for a second pair which i'm definitely gonna have to do soon so this is definitely on my top 10 most worn shoes in the rotation there you have it those are all my most worn shoes top 10 in the collection there are some that just just beat that that are just as much worn but just don't hit that top 10 and i know for certain that i don't grab without even thinking twice these are definitely them these are definitely it everything pretty much the same colorways except for the two dunks but the two dunks get there wear because it just brings me out of that red black and white you know just bubble so those are it and i want to know what do you guys wear the most in your collection because like i said before I'm not the only one that has a bunch of shoes, but goes to the same probably five, maybe 10 shoes to just throw around, wear around, aside from Crocs. Cause I, if you have Crocs, I'm sure you throw those on just as much or some Nike slides. But when it comes to shoes, what is your top shoes in the rotation that you gravitate to and that you throw on without even thinking twice and wear on a daily basis or just a bunch of times that are almost there and have that beat and really good look to it. So comment that below. Thank you for tuning in. If you have not already hit that subscribe button, it really goes a long way and I do appreciate it. Thank you for people who have been commenting on the video. So if you've made it this far, comment low top. Comment low top and I'll know that you've made it this far into the video. I really do appreciate it. Follow the social media. We got the personal Instagram as well as the YouTube Instagram, the sneaker hype. It really goes a long way. Follow the TikTok. I've really been going live, trying to th post a couple more TikToks here and there. I really do hope people can interact with that a lot more too. But thank you for tuning in. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when new videos do drop. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.